Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Connors. And I'm Netta Irampour. We're going to start this hour with breaking news. A heavy police presence in Claremont this morning. There was a drug raid at a home there. Yeah, this all happened in the 4200 block of Feather Avenue. And News 8's Chris Grow is live at the scene. We just saw the images from Chopper 8. Big police presence there. And so look, we've gotten very limited information from the DEA so far, but what we know is that fentanyl and methamphetamine were found inside of the house, and we've seen at least two people taken out just now in handcuffs by agents and loaded into the back of a San Diego Police Department cruiser. Now, earlier on, we did see hazmat teams in here as well, too. That is a pretty standard procedure there whenever we have, uh, we're talking about fentanyl or meth being inside of a home because that can be so dangerous to anyone uh, inside. But uh, we know that a search warrant was served here, and again, we know that uh, several people being detained and we're not sure yet of how many will be arrested or charged when all is said and done. But according to neighbors that we spoke with off camera earlier today this morning, they heard a search warrant being served. It was very loud, as you might imagine. Several mass DEA agents and task force members could be seen detaining the people that live inside. Uh, those connected to the operation, we're told, will likely be formally arrested again. While they couldn't tell us much more, one of those neighbors we spoke to off camera says they're not surprised this happened. They didn't know the people well, but suspected something was wrong. A DEA spokesperson told us meth is a rising problem in San Diego. I can't talk about an ongoing investigation, but I can tell you that that meth is a serious problem in San Diego. It's the number one drug in San Diego right now and that in 2019 we had over 500 overdose deaths related to methamphetamine in San Diego County alone, which is up from about 250 in 2014. So it's doubled in that amount of time. And just during that sound bite, we actually saw uh, another person being taken from behind the home in handcuffs, put again into a San Diego Police Department cruiser. But we still don't know who is being formally charged. There's a big difference between being detained and being arrested, though it does appear now we have seen several people being arrested, being placed inside of those police cruisers. As soon as we know more about who they are, what charges they are facing, we'll be sure to let you know. But reporting in Claremont, I'm Chris Groh for News 8.